Hey, Hi, Tony. Tony. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Good. Just fine. You? I'm doing great. I get to talk with both of you this morning, and it's uh, it's always a pleasure, Thomas, to, to see you and uh, and just Thank you. Chat. And uh, Nicole, wow, what a performance in this season! Um, you get you get a lot more to do, don't you? Mm. I, I do indeed. Yes. <laughs> uh, Thomas. Well, First of all, uh, I, I just want to say, you know, you, we've talked so many times in the past uh, and I'm always bowled over by your performances. You're just you just know how to put on the skin of a character. Uh, thanks. And I'm always looking for those characters that are going to be fun to wear. Ted Concafi is one is one of those characters, you know, uh, I'm a huge fan of the books by Candace Fox, the Crimson Lake series, where she created Ted and Amanda. And to be able to bring those to to the screen uh, is a, a real joy. I'm always looking for something a little different and also with some meat on the bone. And that's what you got with Trapo. And in this uh, new season, boy, there's a lot of meat there. Uh, your family is... Uh uh you know is visiting so to speak and and uh, everybody's uh you know kind of up in arms about what's going on in this in this new murder case just want he just he just wants to be a husband and a father you know and he wants his old life back as much as as much as that whatever that would is going to look like so getting the kid up for a weekend visit was was the plan uh the wife unexpectedly comes with and then all hell breaks loose uh, as Ted and Amanda have to, you know, figure out uh, some more some more murder mystery stuff, which keeps uh, getting and, in the way of Ted getting his family back. And I love uh, I love Amanda's character, uh, Nicole. You really put a lot of heart into it, but she's so intelligent and so wonderfully gifted in what she does. Hmm. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, I love Amanda and it's been such a joy to be able to like to, to bring her to life and to have a second go at it, to go around the second time with Thomas was an absolute gift. And yeah, I'm so excited for the audience in the States to see eventually on the 25th on Prime. Yes, indeed. And uh, you're dealing with family. You're dealing with, uh, well, you're dealing with your past and uh, and future in this season and wow what a yes. what a nice juxtaposition yeah it's um nothing that she thought but her identity is completely shaken and she's kind of reinventing herself in many ways and dipping her toe in to the world of romance in many ways and re she gets a you know, a visit from a past nemesis, which is very fun to play with Simon Linden as Twist. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of the in-between. She doesn't know who she's going to be, and um, but she's letting go of who she was. And so it's that limbo stage of working it out. Um, yeah, which was so much fun, so much fun to play. And, and Thomas, you're sitting in the director's chair this season. What a joy to be able to direct Nicole and, of course, Simon Linden, who plays Twist, Rada Mitchell, mm -hmm. uh, who plays my wife. We have such a great cast, so it was a real pleasure and an honor to be able to direct some of these terrific Australian actors uh, this season. So I, it was probably the most fun I've had working on a show in a really long time for that reason. And you've added uh, uh, to the amount of characters, as you said. I mean, there's more going on in Tropo than uh, ever before. I mean, yeah. since season one. And wow, uh, everything is so well written. Yeah, that's good to hear. You know, we we, we work hard on the scripts. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, the competition is stiff out there these days. You got to keep up. Uh, in our in our final moments that we have, I'll start with uh, with Nicole. What do you think audiences are going to take away from watching season two of Tropo? Oh, God. Um, intrigue, I think. Um, a deeper love for this weird, odd, oddball dynamic between Amanda and Ted. Um, a love for the far north Queensland and all the crocodiles and snakes that come with that. Um, yeah, hopefully purchasing a ticket to Australia 
<laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, and Thomas, uh, same question. What do you think audience will take away from season two of Tropo? If people want great characters, fun mystery, um, that that's where to come. That's turned into Tropo, you know. If you want to watch, uh, you know, um, buildings explode and stuff like that, go somewhere else. But if you want to dig into some character work and uh, some some drama where uh, characters are wrestling with some of the deeper questions about um, identity and life and uh, mystery and love, um, then then where are your game? Yeah, and and it's also a very funny show too. At, at times, you guys are like the thin man. Oh, we gotta have fun. You gotta I have fun. You can't, can't be no no sticks in the mud around here. <laughs> no snakes in the mud. I think is more the term. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for your time. It's always a pleasure, Thomas and and Nicole. Always a pleasure. Uh, wow, you're ju- you're you're in the right business, both of you. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Thank Thanks. you. See you soon. See you. You bet. Bye.